What's up guys and welcome back to the club. In this video I will be talking about the auction tanks, the winter 2023 or Christmas uh, tanks for this year. I did a lot of auction videos uh, in my channel and uh, yeah so this is now the second week of uh, the Christmas auction 2023 and uh, yeah let's have which tanks um, are still here in this auction and which tanks are OP which are really worth it to go for and uh, which tanks are really very good and you also maybe should go for them if you want to just have a strong uh, premium tank okay um, so I have all those tanks already all of them and I know every tank I know each tank of, of those tanks and uh, I played with every tank so I will be starting, for example, or let's start from the right to the left. I will be starting with the Lansen C. The Lansen C is really a nice vehicle. Um, it has a good gun depression. It has a strong armor uh, with a high alpha damage. And uh, this tank is made to play second line. So this tank is definitely not OP. And I will try this time to do this video not that long for you um because just not worth it to do i don't know uh, 30 minutes or one hour video um I, I'm, I'm going just to say what need to be said B go for it or not is it really very good or op yes or no and that's it so the lance and C, I i played a lot of battles with it so it's a medium tank with which should be played higher down from second line because we have a bit long reload time compared with other mediums but for that a high alpha damage and we can play it hull down so in my opinion it's really a very good medium tank and if you are but only for skilled medium tank players if you are that skilled medium tank player you can really perform great battles with this tank it's not beginner friendly and it's not op but if in the right hands this tank can be op but it's not beginner friendly so only for um, let's say main medium tanks players who know how to play with the sank who know how to use this gun depression to perform great battles um, the WZ 122M also a nice vehicle but to be honest and to make it straight right now really uh, to not talk a lot it's not OP it's not very good and my in my opinion yes not worth it to go for it okay we got better tanks in his class the t28 defender um tier 8 american tank destroyer um well yeah it's it's a, definitely a beginner friendly td uh we got a turret on it we can rotate it 360 degrees we got a nice upper plate a nice turret frontal turret so a nice frontal armor we can play it kind of hull down we got three shells in the magazine and we have a long magazine reload time and between also the intra clip reload time is also long so it's a no to loader with a long reload time whole magazine reload time and also with a long intra clip reload time so this tank is also tricky to play but it's thanks to its frontal armor uh, turret and upper plate uh, it's beginner friendly and like should be if you are going to play it like every TD backline from distance, you are not going to do nothing wrong. So we are safe. We are going to block a lot of damage, and we can do also a lot of damage. It's a tank with a nice penetration, and uh, yeah, beginner friendly. It's not OP, but in my opinion, because this tank is really beginner friendly, um, I would say for all beginner players who want to have a strong tier A TD, yes, go for it. But only for them. For the rest. Uh, of course there is much more better tier 8 tds in this game with higher tpm and everything the majestical kampf panzer 70 every player want to have this tank because it looks cool it's big it's got a derpy gun with a high caliber a tier 9 german premium tank i mean who don't wants to have it i don't know I mean, yeah, this tank looks cool, especially with a legendary camouflage, but in my opinion, this tank, 
Yeah, I cannot. It's not a competitive tank, for example, for rating battles. You want to perform great battles. You want to, for example, grind your win rate farm, win rate. This tank, it's not for that. It's not It's not OP. It's fun to play. Got a high alpha damage, 560 damage per shot, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, yeah, nice penetration. But this tank got a trash, uh, turret, trash armor. Everybody will pen you using premium shells. We are not that invincible for a heavy tank and yeah it's if you want if you want to collect it to have it in your garage and to have some fun battles yes but if you are thinking to have this tank to have better win rate and have better rating in your rating battles it's not the case for this for this vehicle and it's also not even beginner friendly because we have no armor at all on this tank it's really only for skilled players it's kind of helium tank it's also a bit a bit faster than the other heavies but have long reload time, so it's really tricky to play and fun to play at the same time. But it's not OP, and that's it. Predator Ultramarines, yeah, just for just for collector issues. If you want to collect all the tanks, have a nice tank here. The Predator Ultramarines, go for it. If not, just don't do it. The AMX can on the song, I mean. We got the WZ120 GT or uh, the Chinese one, which is better than this one with a higher TPM and a better frontal armor, etc. We got also other TDs in the game, which are better than this one. It doesn't mean that this tank is bad. This tank is pretty good, even very good. But yeah, we have just better tier 8 TDs in the game, to be honest. And that's why I wouldn't uh, suggest you to go for this vehicle. The T22 medium, two years ago it was OP. Why? It's still OP actually. Nothing changed. This thing got even buffed. Um, better speed, better armor. But we have the Kampf Panzer 50T right now with yeah better gun depression, with better frontal armor, uh, turret, uh, higher DPM, etc. Which is now, in my opinion, the best tier 8 me a tier 10 medium in the game. But that doesn't mean that this tank is bad. The T22 medium, still OP, with the incredibly strong frontal armor for a tier 10 medium. Upper plate, if angled, the turret is strong. Even the side is sometimes strong and can block some damage. Also with the high alpha damage. So this tank actually, it's no more the best tier 10 medium in the game. But in my opinion, the T22 medium, still OP. And uh, one of the tanks which are worth it to go for, but be careful only, of course, for skilled tier 10 medium uh, players or for skilled medium tanks player in general. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense if you are a player, a newbie or a new players to buy it, don't do it. Or if you are a player who actually play more with heavies to buy this tank because you will maybe in the beginning, uh, yeah, don't uh, yeah understand how to play with it. So it's OP. Definitely worth it, but only for players who know how to play with it. The Optic 260. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this tank. Yeah, it's okay to 10 heavy. Uh, yeah, I would not say it's worth it. It's not OP. We have also better two ten tens heavies uh, in the game right now, and uh, yeah, just for. It's a collector tank, in my opinion, for collectors, if you want to collect them all, all the tanks in the game, just do it, but it's not a P, to be honest, it's not the best, one of, it, it doesn't even belong, in my opinion, to one of the best tier tanks of the game, it's not even the case, and that's it, in my opinion, not worth it, so, I tried this time not to do a very long video, um, just to go through all the tanks very fast, and to tell you my opinion about yeah, every tank. So, uh, oh, we got another one. The 1951. Yeah. I mean, this tank just got... What does this tank... What does this tank have better than the texture one? Maybe a bit more mobility, but that doesn't make a, a huge difference. And that's why I was never a fan of the Emil 1951, especially for, for free-to-play players, okay? So who do wanna really uh, don't have the money to buy everything and they wanna, of, I mean, uh, spend the gold or the money wisely to really have the best tanks in the game. I would say this tank is not worth it because we have the Emil 1, a tech 3 tank, very similar to this tank, nearly the same, nearly a copy-paste. 
this tank got only maybe a bit better of uh, mobility and that's it. Uh, the Emil 1 it's, can compete with this tank even better, uh, frontal armor, so I would say Emil 1951, nope, don't go for it. If you want to have a tank with such a play style, with a shot, such an armor profile, just search for free the Emil 1, the Tech 3 1, and that's it. Don't waste your money, spend your money or gold for this tank. Yeah, and with that, we arrived to the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. That was uh, the week 2 of the auction, winter auction, Christmas auction 2023. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and stay tuned for the third week of the auction. I will be also reviewing it very fast like this to tell you my opinion about about um, about every tank and to tell you uh, which tanks are really worth it to buy. Bye bye guys.